have got a heck of a haul for you. It's a lot of stuff. I have stuff from Sephora, the drugstore, and Nordstrom, and I've been on kind of a skincare rampage. So I'm going to start with the Sephora stuff first before we get into the rampage. Um, so I picked this stuff up, actually it was actually a couple weeks ago, like earlier this month, and uh, I went ahead and I caved. I got it. I've been using the Monarch palette and I love it from Kat Von D and I just had to get the other more cooler tone palette. And a lot of you thought I should have it anyway because of the name. It's like she made it for me. It, it really that says Crystal is 007. It does. It really does. Um, she just didn't want you all to, you know, you know. So anyway, here is this palette. I love, love, love the colors and the textures of her shadows are so amazing. I love the mirror on top and I'll give you a closer look at the palette. These are such buttery shadows. That Monarch palette really is what convinced me to even go and get this because those shadows are so beautiful and I love purples and I love blues. It's funny, I hardly wear it anymore. I just don't feel it as much. You know how you go through a phase and you just like, I think my phase is green now. But anyway, this palette is gorgeous. I was swatching it at Sephora and I just had to pick it up. I was like, I can't even pretend because if it ever went away, I don't even know if they're permanent. If it ever went away and I hadn't gotten it, I would be on eBay looking for it. So I was like, let me just stop the madness now. Um, I already told you about this. I did a whole video on it. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I got the Kat Von D and then I was like headed to the register and right before the register is the Bite Beauty area. So of course I stopped uh, to look at what they have. I got the, uh, and love the uh, Bite Beauty uh, Agave Lip Mask. This is just the container in here. I had it in the bag. Uh, but I did a whole video on that. If you have any questions on that, it's a few videos back. Uh, this is the Bite Beauty Lush Lip Tint. And I wanted to try one of these. I got it in Cherry, the Lush Lip Tint. So this, um, I already did a swatch because I did this whole video and uh, my camera wasn't on. I did the whole video. Yes, I did. Uh, this is Cherry, as I said before, and this is cute. I already swatched it. It had a nice B that you could see better before, but after me <laughs> swatching it. So that's what Cherry looks like. And I noticed it doesn't have any smell. So we'll see if it has a taste when I used it, but it just looked like really great. Um, one of the girls at Sephora was telling me that these are really nice. And they have a couple different colors, but I thought Cherry was the best one for me. So I went ahead and got it. And I got two gifts. I got two gifts. I got the uh, Sephora VIB Buxom Hot Pink Lip Set. What? Um, so you get two glosses and a lipstick. And it says one of the full-on lip polishes is in Nicole. Yeah, this is Nicole. It's a pretty color. Nicole. And then the other full body lip gloss is in Sweet Thing. Sweet Thing. That's really pretty. Um, and then you get a mini, uh, these are all minis actually, a mini full body lipstick in Mistress. And I already have Mistress, so I'm going to save this and add it to one of my Instagram giveaways. Um, prize winners. I'll just throw this in there for you. Mistress, it's a nice lighter color. Let me show you that. Uh-oh, do you see a buddy? Do you see a buddy? That's Mistress. So I won't swatch it because I'm going to give that away to somebody, but I do have that upstairs, I remember. All right, and I got this other gift. This is the Sephora VIB Rouge uh, nail polish gift, and this is a Formula X color. Um, so I'm excited to try this because I've tried a shimmer in Formula X. It's X Loves Rouge. Uh, I guess that's what they're calling it. But yeah, I'm excited to try a cream color because I've only tried shimmers from them. Okay, on to the drugstore. We are headed to the drugstore now, and this is where the skincare rampage starts. I need your help here because I'm trying a lot of new skincare products, and uh, some of these I've already started using, so I'll tell you what my thoughts are on them already. But I'd love to know from you in the comments if you've used any of these products and what your thoughts are on them. All right, first up, this is a moisturizer, and I love this already. This is Olay Fresh Effects Do Over Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. That's why I bought it. It says gel. Something about out, like the Marc Jacobs gel foundation. I have used a gel moisturizers before. Something about gel works for my skin. And this is definitely that way. I love using this. Um, it's really, really nice. I've been using it quite a bit. Um, it's a nice moisturizer. Really, really good. Love, love, love. Nice texture. It smooths on beautifully. Oh, 
great, great stuff. And it smells so, so good. And it's less than $10. I think it was like, what, seven, eight dollars? Probably eight, something like that. Oh, let me tell you what I did, how I got all this drugstore skincare. They had a 25% off, CVS.com sent me an email, 25% off anything uh, on their dot com site, the CVS.com site. Um, and then they were having crazy sales on, on different things. Um, and they gave me $5 off uh, to complete my order. So the shipping was five something. So that took like almost all the shipping off. I paid like 50 cents to get it to ship to me. I was very happy. Uh, so this is something new and I wanted to try this. Actually, I got this um, actually at the store. It's in one of my vlog videos, I got this. Uh, it's the new Olay Regenerous Luminous Sci uh, Moisturizer. Is that my husband? That's my husband. No wonder Max ran away. Um, this is a tone perfecting cream moisturizer. Spades the, the look of discoloration. This is usually $31. It was on sale for $24.99. Hello. <laughs> it was $24.99. I had a 25% off coupon that they mailed me uh, for CVS. And then I had another coupon, like $4 off. So I ended up paying like $11, I think, for this. So yeah, that's that moisturizer. I can't wait to try this. So many of you that watched my vlog video want to know how this is, and I'll definitely tell you, because it does. it's supposed to fade dark spots. I haven't tried this one yet. I got this pretty recently. Ooh, it's a nice peach color peach texture. So if you've already tried this, let me know what your thoughts are on it. I'd love to know. I'm just thrilled that I got something that's usually $31 for 10. I'm just thrilled about that. I'm proud of me. Um, I also got the Olay Fresh Effects uh, Everything Off Deluxe Makeup Remover Wipes, uh, wet cloths. So uh, I'm going to try those. I like to try everybody's wipes. I just do. It's very, very weird. Okay, this duo I have tried already. I already bought a second um, serum. I love this stuff. And so many of you told me, because I put up a picture on Instagram of my skincare shelves showing, you know, a lot of these new products because I'd already put them in. I have a shel shelf of things I'm trying out and a shelf of things I regularly use. And, um, this was on there and so many of you commented on Instagram. So many people commented on Instagram and said that they love this stuff. It's the uh, L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector. Now this is the pink stuff. They have another set of things that I think have been there a while, but this pinker version is uh, newer. This is the Texture Perfector, and this is the one I already got. A, this is the backup that I'm showing you. The original that I have that I've been using every day since I got it is still in my bathroom. This Texture Perfector is amazing. The first night after using it, the next morning when I felt was washing my face, my skin was already softer. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. So this is the backup. I'm already all in. Already all in. Always going to have this. This is good stuff. Um, this is the Day Night Cream. It's same thing, L'Oreal Youth Code. Um, I have less experience with this. I've used it a couple nights, and it has been good. Um, their packaging is really cute for this stuff. Um, so, yeah. And I'm always going to be able, on the lookout. I think they just sent me an email, cvs.com, of 30% off anything they have. Uh, but it's too early to order more skincare, but I'm probably going to order from them again when that comes around. Um, this is the Olay Age Defying Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream and Serum. Uh, I definitely wanted to try this. This has been around for a while, and um, I had heard good things. I read some reviews for all this stuff. I read reviews. Um, but here's the, it comes in a 1.7 ounce container and it has a pump. So yeah, if you've checked this out, definitely let me know what your thoughts on that are. Now we're headed to Nordstrom. Uh, we're doing pretty good here, time-wise. All right, uh, I got four things. What happened is earlier this month, Nordstrom was having a 10% off skincare, a lot of skincare items. And um, I was in the store returning one of the Dior, that really expensive Dior cream that I got that I really couldn't fit into my, look at all this, I couldn't really fit into my um, skincare regime. Uh, so I, it was really, really expensive. So for that one product, I got four other products from Estee Lauder. That's, that's how expensive that thing was. And these were all 10% off. And I think it was, Tentalia did a post a couple days after I went to Nordstrom. I was so excited to get 10% off. And Tentalia did a post, and I think it only lasted until June 10th. 
um, but she did a post a couple days after I left um, and got my deals. Anyway, let me know about these products. Definitely let me know because these are all things I've never tried before. I got, or one I've, I've started trying. Uh, this is the Estee Lauder Idealist Even Skin Tone Illuminator. And gosh, the lighting is weird. It looks like it's going to rain like a mofo. So that's what this is. So tell me if you've used it. I am curious. I would love to know. Love, love, love to know. I'm always looking for things to illuminate my skin as well as um, help with dark spots and things like that, if you notice. Huh. Uh, this is the Advanced Repair Night, uh, Advanced Night Repair Eye. So basically I got an eye cream and a, like an eye serum. So this is a, one of those. I think this is like the cream. I've just heard such good things and read such good reviews about the all, a lot of the advanced repair products from Estee Lauder. So this is the uh, advanced night repair eye. This is the serum. Serum. And it was funny because I got the serum first. I knew I wanted that, but it, was, it says in the thing to use it with, uh, put it under eye cream or put eye cream over it, one of those two. I have to read the directions again, I haven't used it. But yeah, it said to do, and I was like, okay, well, where's the cream? Uh, so I have the serum and the cream. So there that is, that's the serum, and I showed you the cream. So I'm gonna try those out. So maybe I shouldn't get, I just did a video on my empties and I was talking about the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brightener. Maybe I should hold off on getting another one. See if this works out. And this is the plain but deadly, I hear, Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. So I've heard great things about that. A lot of people told me um, that you have definitely have to use it every night, but the results you'll see are really good. So guys, that is my haul. Uh, that was enough, right? A skincare rampage, wouldn't you say? Uh, let me know your thoughts on any of the products. I can't stress that a lot, enough. I like to hear you all, uh, you know, give me your, your experience. Tell me about your experiences with products because they're just as important to me as mine, you know, when it comes down to it. So I will talk to you very soon. Um, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.